Hey, Bourbon Bay, this is Stephen, your host with Bourbon Bay Talks, and just coming at you after an amazing weekend at the Sunshine Spirit Festival here in Tampa Bay, and that was hosted by the Florida Craft Spirit Association, where 25 of the top uh, craft spirits distilleries in the state came and showcased a bunch of their different products, and it was an amazing weekend, great time. Um, saw a whole bunch of good friends there. And so, yeah, real quickly before we kind of get into the video, I just want to thank my sponsors, Higher Order Smokers and Loaded Cannon Distillery, and also my friends, Gambler Bay Distillery. And I'll definitely be putting the links for their uh, websites in the bottom of the description. So definitely go check it out. It'll definitely be there and go check out the links. And I just want to also thank David Cohen, the president of the Florida Craft Spirit Association and also the head distiller and owner of Manifest Distillery up in Jacksonville. So if you're definitely up in that area in Jacksonville, go check them out. They do organic spirits up there. So really good ones. They have a rye that was really great that um, aged about, I think, two to three years and you definitely get that nice spicy and dry fruit notes in it. And just a really good spirit. And then they also do a one with honey as well. And so you get that little honey sweetness. Uh, so yeah, definitely a, a place I highly recommend to go check out there at Manifest Distilleries. And again, just wanted to thank them for uh, having us there, for doing my last podcast with us so we could kind of get the word out and uh, promote this new uh, festival that is going to be hopefully an annual thing and as I get more information on when the next one is and where the next one is I'll definitely give that information out to you guys so whenever you're in Florida or if you're already here and want something to do uh, and go check out some really great spirits here in the state uh, yeah you can go check it out and we also talked about how this was kind of like the kickoff event to the Florida Craft Spirit Trail, which is kind of like, or going to be like the Kentucky Bourbon Trail. Uh, we're just going to showcase all the different um, participant distilleries in the state of Florida. And you're going to be able to do like an online passport where you can get it stamped, uh, saying that you went to the distillery. And also uh, some other great deals and things like that that are going to come along with that. So, yeah, as those come out, I'll definitely let you guys know, and I'll definitely put it in the description of any future videos that we do and also be posting it on my social media. So go follow me on my Instagram account, my Facebook account, uh, TikTok, and Twitter. So, yeah, for all that information. Uh, but, yeah, I just wanted to kind of talk about the event. It was a really fun event. Uh, definitely going to be posting some pictures through this video and also some video I took at the event of the two nights or two days that uh, took place. Uh, first night was going to at Kabuza and Sun Distillery over in St. Petersburg. Really great host, more kind of an intimate event. Uh, we'll be showing a video right now to kind of this um, showcase what was going on on that night. Uh, they had a local uh, musician playing some music and it was more kind of just an intimate setting as you'll see are seeing in the video right now uh, where yeah you had not all 25 distilleries there but you definitely had a good number of them uh, showcasing more of a limited selection like kind of their uh, high-end not being sold in retail markets um, or not available yet to the retail market so like some new spirits that they had just come out with or kind of like their higher end products. Um, so like with Honey Lane Distillery out of uh, Winter Gardens, they had um, some of their whiskeys. They had a gin that was made with uh, honey. They're actually classified as a uh, bee farm, which is pretty interesting and unique. Uh, and you basically... It was a spirit that was distilled from honey, and then they actually finished it with a bit of honey as well. Kind of similar to a mead, but um, different in that sense. 
and it was definitely a high, uh, really good. Definitely, you get that honey note in there. You get the gin notes, but more floral, more citrus. So definitely not your typical gin that most people are used to trying, which has got a lot of juniper, a lot of that mint. Uh, so, and then also there was a big storm brewing company was there showcasing off their whiskey, uh, which hasn't hit the market yet, which will probably be out next year or the year after. Uh, they used some of their stout uh distillage from the big storm stout and so when you try it you definitely get a nice that uh hops you get the um stout flavor and just a really good overall and that again was from big storm right here in tampa uh and then of course there are two locations off of 54 and down on 19 uh in pinellas so definitely uh going to be showcasing some of those and really good and then, of course, my friends over at Gambler Bay, they were showcasing their Battleship 57 rum, which is the naval strength rum, really the only naval strength rum in the state of Florida. And so it's about, by naval strength, I, def, I mean it's about 57 proof. And so, or 50, or sorry, 57% alcohol by volume, so 114 proof. And... It's strong, but you definitely get some great notes of cinnamon. You get notes of mol uh, molasses and uh, mint and also some honey or nutmeg in there. So it's just a really nice bourbon. Great to drink on its own, but I always love having it in their old fashions that Patrick and Mark make me. Uh, so really just an awesome spirit. And that's hopefully going to be hitting the shelves in the retail market soon. And then you'll be seeing at some of the higher end bars around town uh, some other good ones that were there was like fish hawk from ocala and they were definitely showcasing some of their vodkas and their gins uh I have to say my favorite was their whiskey and i think it was a three-year-old rye that they were showcasing definitely a very good spirit uh and then some other good ones was like of course saint augustine Distillery, they had their bourbons there showcased, plus their gins, vodkas, and making some good old fashions and Mai Tais with it, um, along with the rum that they had, the dark rum, which was very good. And then also my friends Loaded Cannon Distillery had quite a selection of their products there. They had their strawberry vodka, which was really <laughs> very good. Uh, you definitely get that strong, nice notes of strawberry which is really it's not like sweet by any means it's kind of has that like when you bite into a fresh strawberry you get that nice little bitterness to it that and then the strawberry so it was like biting into a fresh strawberry uh, so yeah that is definitely one i'd highly recommend for sure plus their port finish uh bourbon which i actually <laughs> ended up buying a bottle uh because i do love their bourbons very smooth and i think it's aged for about three years and then finish in a port cast and definitely adds that nice like uh, cherry notes you get plum in there and then you also get some more dark fruit and just a very smooth and i think yeah it's around like 95 90 yeah 94 to 95 proof so it's if you like that higher proof stuff it's definitely uh in your wheelhouse for sure and i would highly recommend trying that um so yeah, and then day two was over at Dark Door Spirits, which was a great event in its own right. They had all the distilleries that were showcased for the event were there. They had food trucks outside, which, uh, yeah, we'll be showing that video. I'm putting it up right now. And you're going to be, yeah, as if you'll see the different um, distillers that were all there. And then, of course, they had a live DJ uh, who was, yeah, it's a local DJ that was playing uh, really good music, setting the tone for a fun day. Uh, it was really popping. They had the food trucks, like I said, there. And they had a raffle uh, to raffle off some high-end bottles and some other uh, great prizes as well. And, yeah, so, I mean, just a great event. And if you guys missed out, uh, yet or weren't there this weekend, you definitely missed out on trying some really great Florida products. 
and hopefully, yeah, this will be the start of something that um, will continue on into the future. Definitely help to grow the industry, just kind of show off uh, what Florida is all about. And I think, you know, Florida can definitely be a huge market. And I mean, it already is a huge market for spirits as well. But I think the Florida craft spirit industry uh, can definitely rival that of Kentucky, Texas, and yeah, so I mean, definitely, guys, I would go out there, check out my uh, this podcast. I'll definitely be putting some links in there, and definitely go check out some of these local distilleries because, guys, they do have some amazing, great quality products. And like I said, I'm uh, going to be posting some videos. Or I uh, hope you guys enjoy some of the videos I posted on this podcast. And yeah, so. And if you guys got any questions, feel free to give me a comment and I'll definitely share any information. If you have any information about some of the distilleries I talked about or some of the distilleries that were showcased in the videos that I didn't talk about, because like I said, guys, there was quite a few of them that were really just good, hard to kind of put all in just one video. And, um, but yeah, so we'll definitely be putting a link into the Florida craft spirit Dot org, which will have a listing of all the local craft spirits around the state. Uh, and they'll have more information about the Florida Craft Spirit Trail. And also, um, yeah, any other information that you guys want to have or need about the Florida Craft Spirit industry, they'll definitely have up on that website. And I'll definitely be putting that in the description below. And yeah, so definitely follow me on my social media. Follow me on my YouTube channel. Definitely uh, love the support and uh, yeah, guys help me continue the growth of my channel and we'll definitely continue to try to put some great content on here and yeah, definitely showcase. Yeah. I was able to also talk to some distillers, so we'll definitely hopefully be uh, getting some future videos of, of these local distillers from around the state and showcase uh, the great state of Florida spirits. So I hope you guys enjoy. As always, uh, please, if you like the video, go ahead and just uh, subscribe and then leave me some comments to let me know like what you guys thought and if you guys have any ideas on what I could do in the future or what you would like to see on the videos or in the channel. And then again, I'd like to thank my sponsors, Higher Order Smokers and uh, Loaded Cannon Distillery. And I'll definitely be putting their information down at the bottom of the video. And yeah, guys, hope you have a great day. And as always, if you guys are going to have a drink, have it with me. And enjoy. Cheers. Ushka